Good morning, everybody. My name is Imani Oakley, and I have lived in Montclair as a black woman, not a family member of a black woman, not the neighbor of a black woman, but as physically a black woman my entire life in the historically uh, black section of Montclair. And I'm also currently running for Congress in New Jersey's 10th Congressional District. It's no secret that many expect this commission to redraw the lines of New Jersey's 10th and 11th Congressional District to benefit Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill, the vulnerable Democratic incumbent in NJ11. Many expect my neighborhood, again, a historically black neighborhood that's still majority black, in Montclair to be redistricted into NJ11. I'm here today to speak to you about why this is wrong. Our community challenges with healthcare costs, with gentrification and affordable housing, with New Jersey's long history of environmental racism are far different than those issues that present themselves in Mendham, Chatham, or many of the other predominantly white suburbs that make up NJ11. We are not political pawns to be moved around on a map. We are people who deserve representation. As a resident of Montclair, and again, a black resident of Montclair, running for Congress in New Jersey's 10th district, it's not lost on me that redistricting my neighborhood into NJ11 would also benefit New Jersey's political machine and benefit the current uh, incumbent, Congressman Donald Payne, a product of the machine. Redistricting should prioritize democracy and representation. Redistricting should not pit the interest of a black woman running for Congress against those of a white woman running for Congress in the district next door. Redistricting should not be a tool to cut out progressive black women who are independent of big donors, who are independent of party bosses. And I'm here today to urge this commission to keep my neighborhood in New Jersey's 10th Congressional District, whose communities are far more similar to ours than the wealthy white suburbs of NJ11.